slapping. Okay. Can you hear me? Is this on? Do we have um, an accordion solo, please? No, like right now. <laughs> Just rip it up. <laughs> That's right. Okay, everybody follow along. Walk that bass. Okay, I am now gonna pull the poems out of my pocket. Oh, what did I do? Okay, there. They're already out of my pocket. I'd like to thank Skeletor for putting this all together. Just got a couple of poems. This first one is called, What Canada Needs Now is a Northrop Fry Coloring Book. <laughs> and there, my son of the sandpipers, grave against the water. As it descends upon them, the beach strung along jaundice lines. The seashell moon scooping out your throat so delicate and sublime. The flesh so like a peach ripped in half. The pit plucked by teeth from the center, and by lips propelled in a lazy arc to the lawn. Gravity is always to blame, but I stumble through the heaps of sidewalk trash as an ache in my wrist for you. From untold murderous delight, don't forget, young lovers, that your joy is doomed, that it is a supplicant of malice, and the teeth that it tears your throat with, that same throat scooped by the moon and strung like seashells, a disintegrating lattice work, that disintegration like sand disappearing. But the throat, oh yes, the throat, let's not forget about the throat, dormant now as the blood cools and the street lights remain, coils of roiling light. Keep it going. This next one is called Facebook is only a catalog of all the people that I'm not fucking. <laughs> it is, of course, perhaps because she galloped across the roof. Her lapses notwithstanding her dreams of contraband hanging from lips like a shiver. The name is Wanda, she would proclaim, touching my arm. The breath between us going stale rapidly, I was a leather jacket perched atop the wall. Legs hanging like drapes above the firewood. The hideaway was gesturing asphalt. A wave of side streets where the children in their red coats and scarves would cling to the taxi cabs while mothers protested and engines hummed invisible beneath it all. And recoiling at the memory of late night wet shop windows, that would reflect the scene behind us. The abandoned strip mall, lights out, the trees sagging, the river guttering into a shale quarry littered with the bloated bodies of the dam. The sound of the cars was perturbing to no one at that late hour. Her hands, her hands were slim, and probably still are, her shoes unfit for such weather. Next one is called, You May Be Deployed. Mother's slippers rake your back. They're fuzzy green rabbit slippers, the kind an ancestor might have found in catalogs, dog-eared and listless, curled irreparably, brandishing mold in the basement under the stairs. Today it's called exposed brick. Yesterday we barely noticed. It was the definition of the lonely bulb dancing with the cobwebs, one string attached. And this final number. Thank you, Dan. You guys are killing it. Keep going. This next one is called Stolen Scenes from the Mailroom. This is from 1996 when I was uh, reading at the Malcolm Lowry room up at the NBI. It's now a sports bar. Still long. Yes, that's right, Kyle. Give it up! Hey, don't, don't, don't conduct the back Okay, here we go. Thirteen broken windows, a street light, a bruised shoulder exposed by camera flash, the remains of a man starved to death folded into a green attaché, the sound of a distorted voice squealing from a gravesite, somewhere a 
blur of light reflected in a mirror trapped in the sewer grate. A red attaché exchanges bodiless hands. An elephant tusk is a murder weapon of distressed housewives. Long walks along the inlet inspire sulfur piles, conspire under fluorescent lights. The alphabet turns the water, the toast to the health of women we cannot remember. The flare and scurry of a hypnotic ship. An anagram for poison slipped under the door. The spring burst during love making, the collapse of a bed, a dreaming caught among the sheets, claustrophobia in the red and lightning flash of tired eyes. William kisses Charles, drives a knife under his heart. Allison watches her tongue early in the morning. A fingernail clipping sews her rapture to her sleeve. A cut finger bleeds into a cigarette. Rusty eye terror. Look, ma, no hands. Quivering is communication. Eyeliner is the devil's Morse code. Thank you, everyone.